Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. As you know, we had uh, a one-day meeting here with Safaricom discussing post collaboration with Safaricom as counties of Lake Region Economic Block, the 14 of us, so that we can use the technology provided by Safaricom in doing various things in our counties, like revenue collection, personnel management, managing our resources, equipment like transportation and so on. And we have had a very healthy and comprehensive discussion. So for us and uh, the discussions we've had uh, with all the governors, it's really a simple message. It's about secure and reliable technologies that will connect and protect communications and data for the county government, which will in turn, of course, enable the counties to deliver services to citizens efficiently and effectively in order to drive strong economic growth through which, of course, the quality of life for our people, of our good country, is enhanced and advanced through inclusion and adoption of digital capabilities. So Safaricom is uh, co-creating a partnership with the counties and national government to drive transparency, increase the quality of services, effective communication into a government uh, in terms of the solutions that will allow for sustainable long-term future that persists generations. Public Wi-Fi to connect people. My county as a unifying platform for citizen engagement and e-delivery of a wide array of critical services through the integrated network of partnership. And we feel very honored that all member counties of LREB were present. We've had extensive discussions. We've signed an agreement, uh, MOU, as you witnessed. And the work begins here because it's not in the conversations, but actually the realization of the discussions that we have had. All we are doing as counties is to improve on efficiency and effectiveness in our counties. We want to minimize cases of corruption, especially in the health sector, revenue collection, and also want to use efficiently and effectively the revenue that we are raising, uh, getting from the shareable revenue and on source revenue. So we want to minimize human contact with money because that is where corruption takes place. So once that is done in most of our counties, we are looking and hoping that uh, services will be more effective and efficient to the people that elected us. I want to thank all the other governors who joined with us, again with the Safaricom. I want to thank you. What Speaker Elmet has just mentioned is that we want to reduce corruption cases in all aspects health, revenue, and other forums that uh, are, again, manned by the county governments. Indeed, we are happy, we are going to Kisi, we are happy to host uh, this event. And again, Kisi, your phone that is green as it is, is rainy as it's going to rain. And again, you will be happy to carry us a soapstone from here, just to symbolize that indeed you came to Kisi. Kisi, we have good facilities, like the one that we have been in and many other ones that we have around. You are welcomed again, Chair. Oh, I look forward that we're not going to have a summit here after Bungoma because we're going to have it in uh, uh, October. A summit here again to coercively exist. My brother from Bomet, and I'm happy Prof. Professor Parachok, the governor Bomet, who is serving his second term again as a general. Prof, we are neighbors here. Uh, otherwise, we thank you. Uh, you go with the blessings za Mungu. Ambazo pia mvoi wanyeshe mkiondoka. Asante sana. Asante sana.